hello everyone welcome back to my channel in this video we are going to discuss about how to speak english fast and be fluent in english i will give you some tips about this topic for this all you need to do that is watch the full video till the end that tips will really helpful for your english speaking journey so if you are new in my channel then don't forget to subscribe this channel for getting those kinds of more english learning videos every day and without further any delay, let's move on to the video. We all know in recent years, interest in English has been growing day by day. Interest, you know, it's not in the literature, but in the language which has proved its usefulness in Indian society. In administration, trade, commerce, day by day, business, it is being widely used by Indians who speak different vernaculars at home. English is still a major medium of higher education in most universities, especially in science, medicine and technology, which are the backbone of modern education, as also the major means of communication amongst the intelligence all over India. For a Tamil residing in Calcutta, or a Bengali walking in Madras, a second language is a must for survival. As soon as a person steps out of his own language group, the need for a link language comes up. This is a problem very peculiar to India and as well as other country because we are a multilingual society. Small wonder then that a large number of students, lawyers, doctors, chartered accountants, even housewives are finding it's necessary to use English for effective communication. The English they have learned at school is not enough for his purpose. And that's why you need to practice enough for speak English fluently. For this I am giving you some following tips. Please listen them very carefully. Try to follow the advice I offer you as it is not possible for me to help you unless I have your full cooperation. Okay, first and foremost, it is most important that you practice English regularly. Try to listen attentively to every word I teach you in my video. I am not telling you that you should watch my video. If it is helpful for you, then you can watch. Make a careful notes in your exercise book of all new words and expressions. As it is simply not possible to learn to speak fluently and effectively unless you are prepared to spend some time every day practicing on your own. You should practice methodically for at last one hour a day. And only then you will benefit it fully. Most of you will tell us that you were unable to find anyone willing to speak with you in English, but that's not necessary. It has already been proved that students can master English without having a single English speaking friend or colleague. If you are really interested and determined to learn, you will do so. And you will not make the lack of English speaking friends an excuse. The third point that is very important that you should read as many books as possible. But this must be very carefully selected. Also do not simply read quietly to yourselves. All dialogue should be read aloud as the words must leave your lips. If you find that reading aloud disturbs others, whispering will serve the same purpose. This method is known as reading, absorbing and repeating. And you know, if the last item repeating is neglected, then you have wasted 33% of your valuable time. In fact, the exercise has lost its purpose. There are so many other books published by modern authors, which you may choose to read in your spare time. Another excellent way of practicing in your spare time is to think in English. When you are alone, perhaps in a bus, train or simply looking out of the window. Try to describe to yourself in English what you see. Now let me give you an example. Suppose you are sitting on your balcony and you can practice English by saying, describing the person like A man is walking past my house. He is quite tall and long hair. He is wearing a pair of grey trousers, a white shirt and brown sandals. He is carrying a bag which seems to be very heavy. Perhaps he is on his way home 
from the market. Another excellent tip that is at night before you go to sleep, try to describe the events of the day in English. This will help you practice the past and present perfect tense. To help you understand English, see as many English films as possible. Listen to radio programs broadcast in English. And try to attend the lectures delivered in English on a variety of subjects at the various cultural centers in your city. That will be really helpful for you to listen and speak English. Now I am giving a last and final bonus tip. Listen to this carefully. Few words about where you should place your priorities in order to speak well. Many students are under impression that good English must include a vast number of flowery words, poetry phrases, and long or complicated sentences. This is known as, you know, bombastic language and it's the type of speech nobody wants to hear. You must always consider the feelings of those listening to you. This is very important. If you use bombastic language, they will find your speech difficult to follow and soon lose interest uh, in your what you are saying. You have only to glance through the speeches of some of the great orators of the world to see how simply they have expressed their thoughts. You will be advised, therefore, to keep your language as simple as possible by expressing your thoughts in your proper sequence and by using short sentences joined by conjunctions. Let's see the example. After taking my breakfast, I went for a walk and returning home from my walk, I read the newspaper before leaving for college. See that one. I had my breakfast and went for a walk, then I come back home, read the newspaper and went to college. Can you understand the difference between both sentences? Now tell me which of these two sentences is easier to understand. In which sentence do you find the actions expressed clearly in their proper sequence? In the first example, the sentence is full of poetic phrases, outmoded words and expressions. And the sentence is unnecessarily very complicated. In other words, through the language is more or less grammatically correct, it is bombastic. But in the second sentence conveys the same meaning as the first, but the language used is simple and as a result much easier for the listener to follow. This example should give you a clear idea of how English should and shouldn't be spoken. So it is easier to understand to others, to your speech. If you are a beginner in English language, you should speak English as simple as possible to understand others, to communicate others. And the last but not the least, please do not be nervous and embarrassed. Remember that you all are here in the same position and have come here for the same purpose. While speaking when you are nervous, always bear in mind that if you do not even try, it will not be possible to speak English very easily or fluently. We are not here to access your progress. If you start practicing, then you can access your progress. There is no shame in making mistakes. We are here to help you to correct them. So as you can see, there is much more thing you can do to help yourself improve your English without uttering a word to anyone. And that's all we have for today. That's all we want to say. Please try to follow those tips that will really helpful for your English speaking. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel for get notified when I post a new video.